Welcome to the second session of the Unit 1 Frame of Reference, described by Carnatic University Darwad for BSc first semester. My name is Vasant Pestai from Government First Grade College, Kumta. Today we are going to discuss about invariance of length and acceleration under Galilean transformation, variance of velocity under Galilean transformation, and invariance of the law of conservation of momentum under Galilean transformation. Let us prove that length is invariant under Galilean transformation. Let us consider two frame of references, S and S dash. Frame S is at rest and the frame S dash is moving with velocity V. But at time t is equals to zero, the frame of reference S and S dash coincide, that is observers O and O dash are at the same point. We have to measure the length with respect to the frame of references and frame of reference S dash. Remember, the frame S is at rest and the frame S dash is moving with uniform velocity. Both are inertial frame of reference. Now, the frame of reference S is measuring the length. That frame of reference is at rest. And the frame of reference S dash also measures the length of that particular object. And the frame of reference S dash is moving with velocity V. Now the position coordinate of the rod with respect to the observer O is given by x1, x2. So for length of the object with respect to the observer whose address is given by L equals to x2 minus x1. Similarly, the position coordinate of the same rod or the object with respect to the frame of reference S dash is given by x1 dash, x2 dash. So for length measured by the observer O dash, who is in the moving frame of reference, is given by L dash is equals to X2 dash minus X1 dash. And we know that according to Galilean transformation equation, X dash is equals to X minus VT. X dash is the position coordinate with respect to frame of reference S dash. X is the position coordinate with respect to the frame of f, frame of reference s, v is the uniform velocity of the frame of reference s dash and time to take, time taken. Therefore, we can consider x2 dash is equals to x2 minus vt and x1 dash is equals to x1 minus vt. Now let us Take the equation 2 here, the result dash equals to x2 dash minus x1. This is the length measured by the observer O dash. Now substitute the value of x2 dash. This is x2 dash equals to x2 minus vt and x1 dash is equals to x1 minus vt. After simplification, minus vt plus vt get cancelled here. Therefore, we get the equation L dash is equals to x2 minus x1. For L dash is equals to L here. If it is clear that length of observed by the observer O and O dash are same and hence length is invariant under Galilean transformation. That is if you consider an example here. If you take a 5 meter length rod, if you place it in the moving vehicle, the length 5 meter is same for the observer who is inside the moving vehicle and the length 5 meter is same for the person or another person who is 
outside the vehicle. Therefore, the length observed in the frame of reference S and the length measured in the frame of reference S dash are same. For length is a invariant quantity. Now let us prove that velocity is variant under Galilean transformation. Let us take the two frame of references here. Frame of references which is at rest, frame of references touch which is moving with velocity v. And now the object and the frame of references are moving along the x direction. Therefore, the object is moving and the frame of reference is also moving. M is the position coordinate of a particle P. Now, we have to measure the position coordinate with respect to observer O is X. Position coordinate of the particle P which is at point M is given by x dash. I think x dash is the position coordinate of the particle P with respect to the frame S dash. If according to Galilean transformation equation, we know that x dash equals to x minus Vt. So therefore, here, if x is the distance traveled by the particle from O to P, then the its velocity is given by U equals to dx by dt. dx is displacement, dt is the time taken. Similarly, if the, this, this is the displacement measured by the, by the moving observer, then the velocity is given by U dash equals to dx dash by dt. This is the velocity measured by the observer O. This is the velocity measured by the observer O dash. Now let us take the equation x dash equals to x minus vt and differentiating it with respect to the p. Then dx dash by dt is equals to dx by dt. Here v is constant this is with uniform velocity for minus v. Differentiation of t with respect to t is 1. Therefore, we get u dash dx dash by dt is u dash dx by dt is u minus p. From this equation, it is clear that u dash and u are the velocities of the object with respect to o and o dash. Hence, velocity is variant under a linear transformation equation. Here, u dash is the velocity measured by the observer o. Sorry. U dash is the velocity measured by the observer O dash and U is the velocity measured by the observer O. Here U dash equals to U minus V. Over here velocity is variant quantity. Let us take one example. Here is the person who is inside the moving train. Therefore, the, now the train is in the moving condition and the person travels a distance of 5 meter in 5 second and according to him his velocity is displacement 5 time taken 5 second therefore it is 1 meter per second. Remember the train is moving and the person is traveling from one place to or one position to the another position and he travels a distance of 5 meter in 5 second therefore the velocity measured by him is 1 meter per second. And the same process is measured by, is observing by the stationary observer who is at rest. But this person is at rest and observing the same event here. And the train is moving with a velocity of 0.6 meter per second. Now, for the stationary observer, person is moving and the train is also moving. Here the person travels the same distance from one point to the another point, 5 meter, and he measures the velocity as 1 meter per second. And the displacement taken
For 8 meter is the displacement measured by the stationary <coughs> observer. That is, according to this person, the person who is <coughs> inside the train is moving and he displaces a displaces by 8 meter and the velocity measured by the stationary observer is v equals to displacement 8 time taken is 5 is equals to 1.6 meter per second therefore the person who is inside the train measure is measure velocity as 1 meter per second and the the observer who is at stationary condition or the observer who is at rest measures the velocity of the person who is inside the train as 1.6 meter per second. Therefore, the velocity is here 1 meter per second, here velocity is 1.6 meter per second. That's why the velocity is invariant with respect to the observer to the observer. Therefore, here, if you take u dash equals to u minus v, u equals to u dash plus v, then if you substitute the value of u dash as 1, v is 0.6, we get 1.6 meter per second. Now, let us prove that acceleration is invariant under Galilean transformation. We know that x dash x and x dash with the position of the moving object observed by the observers O and O dash at the instant t. Then x dash equals to x minus v t that is differentiating this equation with respect to time. Then dx dash by dt is equals to dx by dt minus v into differentiate t with respect to t is 1 for d square x dash by dt square is equals to d square x by dt square minus v for a dash equals to a. And here a dash and a are the acceleration of the object with respect to t and hence acceleration is invariant under Galilean transformation. So there are two objects of same mass. One object is on the ground another object is in the moving vehicle if you apply the same force on both objects then acceleration measured by the object which is on the ground and the acceleration measured by the object who is a, which is in the moving vehicle is same Therefore, the acceleration is invariant under Galilean transformation. Now, let us prove that law of conservation of momentum is also invariant under Galilean transformation. Therefore, we have to consider the two frame of references S, S dash, S is at rest, S dash is moving with velocity V. And we have to take the two particles of mass M1 and M2, which are moving with velocity U1 and U2. Now, this is the moment of total momentum before collision, that is M1, U1 plus M2, U2. After some time, both the particles collide with each other, the velocity becomes v1 and v2. Therefore, u1 changes to v1, u2 changes to v2. So, this is the measurement we are taking with respect to the frame of reference S. And after collision, the particles are moving in the opposite direction. Therefore, this is the total momentum after collision. This is m1 v1 plus m2 v2. Therefore, according to law of conservation of momentum, m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2. This is the equation number one. 
remember that this is the law of conservation of momentum with respect to the frame of reference s now consider the another case here so that is we are we have to measure the conservation of momentum with respect to the frame of s dash now the mass is absolute therefore the mass m1 and m2 are o dash and o are same but the velocity is variant that's why you have to take here u1 dash and u2 dash with respect to the observer o dash now those two objects collide with each other the velocity changes to u1 dash to v1 dash u2 dash to v2 dash after after collision the momentum becomes m1 v1 dash plus m2 v2 dash therefore according to law of conservation of momentum m1 u1 dash plus m2 v2 dash equals to m1 u1 dash plus m2 v2 dash with respect to the frame of reference s dash now according to transformation of velocities u1 equals to u dash plus v u2 is equals to u2 dash plus v v1 equals to v dash plus v and v2 is equals to v2 dash plus v where v is the relative velocity of frame of frame of reference s dash with respect to s we know the equation one that is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equals to m1 u1 plus m2 v2 So this is the law of conservation of momentum with respect to the frame of reference S. Now substitute the value of q1, u2, v1, and v2. After simplification, we get m1 u1 dash, m2 u2 dash, m1 plus m2 into v. This is equals to m1 v1 dash plus m2 v2 dash plus m1 m2 v. Here in this equation, m1 plus m2 into v, m1 plus m2 into v get cancelled. That's why you get m1 u1 dash plus m2 u2 dash equals to m1 v1 dash plus m2 v2 dash. Therefore. This is the frame of reference measured with respect to frame of reference S, and this is the law of conservation of momentum with respect to frame of reference S dash. But we proved that here law of conservation of momentum in frame of reference S and law of conservation of momentum with respect to frame of reference S dash are same. Therefore, law of conservation of momentum is Invariant under Galilean transformation. Thanks for watching.